Hi, and welcome to this tutorial of the Elementi software. This video will show you the basics of the Elementi software and get you acclimated to the workflow while you're using Elementi. So whether you're using this for the very first time or you just need a refresher, this video will get the basics down for you. So we're gonna create a new project. And you can right click in the white space down here in the browse panel on the bottom left or go up here and click the new project document menu. Select new project. You can name your project, select the model that you want to publish it to, or the format or aspect ratio that you want to use. But once you've set that up, click OK. And that'll create a new project folder with the name that you gave it down here in the browse panel. Double click on this project folder and it will open it up in all three of the panels. You can see a preview of what your project looks like in your preview panel. So as you continue to build your project, you'll see the changes that have occurred up here in the preview panel. Over here on the right side is the edit panel. The software is layer based. So as you're working with your project, you'll start to add layers to your project and you will see the list of them over here on the right side. The top layer will overlap all the layers that are below it. So to get started, I'm going to use some of the widgets that are included in the Elementi software. So first I'm going to go to backgrounds and I'm going to add a background that I like. Now anytime you're adding a layer in Elementi, you don't have to double click on the file. You can just drag and drop it over to the edit panel or in the preview panel to add it as a new layer. So now this background is added as a layer and in your preview panel, you can click and drag inside the layer to move it around or click and drag these arrows to resize it. You have the flexibility to put this wherever you want in your project. This one, I want it to fit the entire screen. So I'm just going to go up here where it says fit screen, hit that, and it automatically fits it to the entire size of my project. Now I'm going to go back up a folder, go back to the root of the widgets, and add another widget. I'm going to add a clock. Again, just dragging and dropping file that you want and adding it as a layer. And then I'm going to size and position it over here. Now most of these widgets also have properties that you can edit. So I want to change the color of this clock so that it stands out a little bit more. So I will double click this layer on the right side. That spotlights the layer so it grays out the rest of the project. And then you can change the mode. So I'll change it to 12 hour format. And then the color. And I just want white. So the easiest way to get white is to click on this eyedropper and then click anywhere on the screen that is white and it'll color match to wherever you click. You could also use this to match any specific shade of color that you might like. Now since I'm inside this layer, I'm going to leave it to go back to my list of layers on the right side. So I'll go up here to the very top right and click the leave button. And that takes me back to my index which shows my list of layers. Finally, I'm going to add one more widget to the library. I'm going to do uh, under text crawlers. I'm going to add an inline text ticker. And this will allow me to type in my own custom text. I'm going to size and position this along the bottom where I want and then click the play button so I can see the scrolling text. Then I'm going to double click on this layer as well to configure its properties and under text content Double click on that pencil tool and then you can format your text here, select the font type, bold or italicize it, and then type in the text that you want. Highlight the text. There we go. If you want, you can change the font color as well. So let me go ahead and do that so that it matches the clock. Get a nice white there. All right. Now that we've added some layers using the widgets from the library, now I'm going to import in some of my own videos. So let me move this window so that I can see the white space in my project. And then I'm going to browse to the location that my video files are in. And I'm going to import in these three and just drag and drop them over into the white space in the bottom left. And that'll import in those videos. And you could add one as a layer if you'd like, um, and it'll just play that video over and over again. But I actually want to include all three of these inside of a playlist 
to have them play one at a time. So I'll right click down here in the bottom left and select new playlist. You can name your playlist, give it a transition, shuffle the order, loop it, uh, set the media duration, which is used primarily for image files. And you click OK once you've set up the settings. Then we're going to take the playlist folder and add it as a layer. And then size and position it where we want. I'll do it like that. Then we need to configure the playlist. So we will double click on the layer on the right side. And now this edit panel shows us the order of our playlist. I'll take these three videos, drag them over, and that will add them to my playlist. If you want, you can move the order of these around if you want. And then if we hit the play button, you'll see this video start to play. And once it's done, after about 16 seconds, it'll move to the next item in your playlist. Then we'll hit the leave button to go back to our index.svg, which is our master file. Finally, the last thing I'll show you in this video is how to schedule content. So we're going to replace this playlist.svg with a schedule instead. So the same way I created a playlist, I'll right click in the white space and select new schedule. You can name this if you'd like and then click OK. And this time, instead of dragging this over here to the blank space in the edit panel to create a new layer, I'm going to drag this over top of where my playlist is playing in the preview panel. And that will replace that layer and keep the same size and position. This is nice if you're already satisfied with how a layer was sized and positioned. You can replace it with a different file and not have to resize and position that layer. Now, this layer or area of the screen is being controlled by a schedule. So I can double click on this layer and add any type of file that I want. Widgets, images, videos, and tell them when I want them to play. So I'll drag this video over. And you can click and drag to move the time around. Or if you want to get more granular with how you schedule it, you can double click on the event, set up start and end times, color coordinate your events, set recurrence rules, and priorities so you have a hierarchy if you have things scheduled at the same time. So I'll set this to play from 10 to 11 a.m. Then you can add additional files as you need to and control a portion of your project or even your entire project off of a schedule. Now I've got my project all set up. I'm going to publish it now. And to do that, you can hit the publish button here near the center of the application. And I will save my changes. And here in the publish window, since this is the first time I'm publishing this project, I'll click the add remove button so that I can add devices to my target devices. And these are all the players that I want to publish this project to. It could be one player, it could be multiple players. Once I'm done assigning my target devices, I'll click the publish button. And now this project is being sent over to that player. I'll type in its password. Once I've done that, once this progress bar fills up, this project will then begin playing on that player. There you go. Be sure to check out our other Elementi tutorial videos to get more in depth on more of the features and widgets that come with the software. But this video will get the basics down for you. Thanks a lot for watching.